This is an HP mouse. And this is the cat, a 3D printed open source computer mouse that you can build yourself. With 21 keys and a joystick, the cat is perfect for CAD designers and 3D printing hobbyists alike. Today you'll learn why I love this mouse so much, what it's fully capable of, and how you can download everything you need for free to build your own. Let's get started. Three months ago, I got a message from my new German friend Stas. Hey Jake, check out this mouse I invented. Dude, this mouse is awesome. If you want to build one, I'll send you the electronics. I would love to build my own cat. A few weeks later, I received a package with all the needed electronics, which included an ESP32 microcontroller, a keyboard, a joystick, and a mouse tracker, all of which are open source. Then I went to Sasa's website, linksware.org, to download the STL files for 3D printing the mouse enclosure. Then I uploaded it to Bamboo Studio to print on my A1. The original mouse design is left-handed, but I wanted mine to be right-handed, so I mirrored the enclosure along the x-axis. Now, not all components need to be mirrored for this project, those of which are titled symmetrical in the STL file name. I printed the enclosure using fuzzy skin, which gave it a really cool texture and hid the layer lines. If you'd like to get a similar texture, wait till the end of this video for further instruction. With the enclosure completed, I printed out the other mouse components. There are three different button surfaces that you can print out, which will help with muscle memory as you use the mouse. This is where I experienced my first problem. When I originally installed the buttons, they fell out. After several failed attempts, I decided to reprint out the buttons, but increase the size to 105%. I also mixed it up a bit and added in some color. The larger buttons were a little tight, but it worked. I should mention that I'm using Atomic Filament, which is made right here in the USA. I love buying from Atomic Filament because <laughs> they always send a pack of gummy bears with my order. Also, I'm really impressed with how their clear filament came out on the Bamboo A1. These two tiny LED lenses get mounted in front of the joystick. With everything printed out, I then wired up the electronics. The wiring diagram on linksware.org made it really easy to do. After wiring, it was time to program the ESP32 microcontroller via Visual Studio with the platform IO extension. This was a really cool learning opportunity for me because I always use Arduino IDE or Mu Editor to program microcontrollers. And if you love learning as much as I do, make sure to like this video and subscribe. At first I had a serial data issue, but then I switched to the serial cable that Stas sent me and it worked like a charm. There's a really great video on linksware.org that explains all the steps to programming the mouse. After uploading the code to the ESP32 microcontroller, it was time to assemble. I'm really impressed with Stas's level of detail in designing this mouse. Everything snaps together with these little tabs and requires no additional hardware. Within a few minutes, everything was done. Very simple, very well designed, and very clicky. That, my friend, is German engineering. When I went to program the keys on the mouse, I realized that the Linksware app is currently available on Windows and Linux, but not on Mac. So I booted up my PC, downloaded the app, and programmed the keys. Now I'm primarily using this mouse for Fusion 360, so I correlated the keys with different CAD commands. You can program the keys to do any mouse or keyboard function, as well as paired functions such as Command C and Command V for copy and paste. Whatever program you plan to use the cat with, you'll be able to dial it in using the user-friendly Linksware app. I should note that even though the Linksware app is currently not available on Mac, you can still use the mouse with a Mac computer once all the keys are programmed. After several rounds of trial and error with getting the keys laid out the way that I liked it, it was almost set to go. I wanted to use the joystick to zoom in and out, but it didn't do so continuously. I basically had to keep wiggling the joystick to get it to zoom in. To fix this problem, I went back to Visual Studio on my Mac and added the following lines of code to the joystick CCP file. I uploaded the code to the ESP32 microcontroller and it worked perfectly. Here's a diagram of all the functions that I set the buttons to. I feel like I've entered a whole new chapter of 3D designing with this mouse. I can't help but smile like a, a child on Christmas morning whenever I'm using the cat. I can instantly make lines, rectangles, add circles, as well as extrude parts, add fillets, and combine bodies, all with these little buttons. By squeezing the mouse, I can grab the part and orbit around. I can also toggle back and forth between views. The possibilities with this mouse are endless and makes 3D design so much faster. That is why I love the cat. With the Linksware app, you can also set a secondary set of keys, which I set up for Adobe Premiere Pro, and it has changed the game for my video editing process. 
The nice thing about the cat is that it's extremely versatile. There are multiple ways that you can physically and digitally configure the mouse for your specific needs. If you want, you can run two cats at a time and set them up as a keyboard for typing. There's also a gyroscope feature, which I think is really cool. If you want to build your own cat mouse, head on over to linksware.org to download the STL files for free. The custom electronic files are available for download and can be ordered through PCB manufacturers such as EasyEDA. Linksware also has URLs to all the different off-the-shelf components that you can buy online. Stas made a really in-depth video on how to order everything that you need to build the cat. I want to take a moment to thank Stas and everyone who has helped support my YouTube channel. If you want to help improve the open source Linksware development, contact Stas through linksware.org slash contact. He's also looking for makers who want to build and sell Linksware products around the world. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to reach out to him. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to comment them below. I do my best to reply to everyone. And as promised, if you'd like to learn how to 3D print textures that are awesome, like I did with this mouse, here's a video on how to do exactly that. Now friends, go be creative and build something awesome.